it's Robin. It's um, Thursday, not Wednesday, and I'm live for the BeFit 10 and 10, mostly because it's just been a really bizarre week, and uh, I think we're all just trying to like figure out how to get into the right rhythms. Kids are home, uh, a lot of businesses are closed. Uh, we are, uh, we made the decision this week to um, close our group classes, stop our group classes, which is sad because it's an amazing group and we've come so far together, but we'll get there, we'll get back to that uh, when it's safe and we're doing, um, you know, one-on-ones with people as is appropriate and we are focusing full out on getting more, um, more opportunities online and working with some of our amazing practitioner friends from all over the world to put something really unique together. So that's what we've been doing. And um, I hope you guys are all doing okay. And feel free to write a comment down here and let me know how you're doing. But we're going to move because if we don't move, we're going to get all sore. We're going to get all stiff. We're going to get all in our heads. I was just like in my head like 10 minutes ago. And I decided the best way to get out of it was to come and stand here and set this up and do this because movement helps me to relax. Um, kind of resets my brain a little bit. So that is what we're gonna do. All right, guys. So I'm gonna start with uh, one foot forward. We're gonna move with our breath because that is uh, a really excellent thing for your nervous system. Um, to calm your nervous system is just to move with your breath. So I've got my right foot forward, I'm gonna exhale down, and I'm gonna inhale up. So exhale on the down, and then just inhale up. And what I tell um, people in our classes when we do this is really let all the air out. We don't do that enough. And then fill your lungs back up with all that good air. All right, switch feet, exhale down, and just go at your own pace. Inhale up. So I'm gonna stop talking for a second so we can all exhale down and inhale up. Just kind of get into a rhythm. Awesome. We're gonna switch feet again, okay? And we're going to exhale down again, but I'm gonna exhale down to the outside of that front leg and inhale up toward the back leg. So exhale down, a little bit down and across, inhale up and open. And just move with your breath. Just challenge yourself to let all the other crap go out of your head right now and just move with your breath. This is a really nice reset when you're feeling a little agitated. Just these four moves that we're starting with right now. I switched feet. I'm going to exhale down and across and inhale up to the right now. Exhale down and across, inhale up to the right. Exhale down and across, inhale up to the right. Perfect. Okay, I'm standing by the wall for a reason, okay? So I'm gonna put my left foot forward, I'm gonna have my right foot back, just glide those hips forward. So you can see that I'm keeping my heel down, good contact with the floor. All right, just feels good to get those hips opened up, body up nice and tall. We're gonna switch legs. So now my left foot is back, and this is always my tighter side. If you do this and you keep your heel down, you're gonna find you probably have a tighter side as well. We're gonna do that for about 10 more seconds. One more there. All right. I'm going to switch feet again, and I'm just going to circle my hips around a little bit. Go a few in one direction, go a few in the other direction. 
We're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. So I'm just doing like two circles one way, two circles the other way. And I like using the wall for this because we can really get into the stretch a little bit more and you can keep your body upright. And that gets those hip flexors doing some lengthening. So I switched legs, okay? I'm keeping that back foot down, circle those hips. Just kind of get into a little rhythm. Circle them around. We're going to do this for about five more seconds, and then we're going to switch gears. All right. Okay, so we are using the wall today, and I am going to use some weights too. And this is one of my favorite moves lately, um, and I've been teaching a lot of people to do this. And, it's, and it's, it's getting some really good results for a lot of people. So we're gonna do that kind of reach down and reach up thing. So I've got my foot right against the floorboard over there. So I'm gonna take this hand that's up near the wall and I'm gonna bring it down toward my outside foot. And then I'm gonna bring this other hand up and even touch the wall if you can. So I'm going down toward my foot, bring this up and touching the wall. So what I love about this is it just gets everything. And we have these long lines of fascia that, fascia, that are, um, they're connected. They connect everything. And they run from, some, from the top of our head down to our toes. And if we can get some really good stimulation and loosening and lengthening of that fascia, it is a great energy booster, okay? Um, it just makes you feel good. So I'm gonna turn around so you're gonna have to see my backside right now. So I'm gonna go down toward my outside foot here, come up and across. Down toward the outside, up and across. Now, do you have to have weights for this? No, you sure don't. But if you've got some, grab them and get a little weight training in as we're doing this. Okay, I'm just checking my watch. We got about 20 more seconds on this one. I don't know what it is exactly about this one that I just is feeling so good to me lately, but I think it's because it just winds you up down here and coils you up in another direction over there. Got my low battery sign on. We'll just turn that off. All right, guys, so I'm gonna keep the weights in my hands and we're going to get a little bit of balance going because we've been on both feet now so what i'm going to do is balance on my right foot first okay now if you need to toe touch go ahead and toe touch but let's get some height here so this is a really excellent way to challenge your balance hey hi charlie i'll be right out get some length through your spine and get some upper body strength at the same time. We may as well, uh, you know, multitask here. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch legs. So now I'm gonna balance on the left. We're still going up and over, up and over. And you're probably gonna find that your balance is a little bit better on one side than the other. Never be afraid to do a little toe touch down there, but it is important to try to get your weight on one foot for this one because then it brings in the core and you know who couldn't use a little extra core work i know i can just gonna look at my watch you keep going reaching up reaching up all right we're gonna reset a little bit so we're gonna go wide we're gonna bring these weights down and up going right down toward the floor and right up. I read a great article this week in the Times uh, from a wonderful lady who clips and brings lots of articles in for me to read. And uh, it was called, I think, Should We Be Squatting More? The answer is I believe yes. Um, there's actually a lot of cool studies out there in countries where people don't sit but they squat more. and. Uh, very little back pain, 
very little arthritis in the hips. Uh, it's kind of what we're meant to do. So if you can build that into your day, it is an excellent thing to do. All right, we are getting back on one foot. So I'm going back on my right foot. Again, you can toe touch, but now I'm going up and over with a turn. So my left hand's going up toward the ceiling. My right hand's going up toward the ceiling, but you can see I'm really turning through my waist, my belly button, my chest, everything is turning. And I'm really trying to stay balanced. All my weight on that right foot. This is one of my all time favorites. And again, it kind of hits everything, okay? So we're gonna balance on the left foot now. We're going up and up. So for this one, we really wanna get that turn. And you can see that I'm not bringing the weights down below my shoulders. They're going shoulder to overhead the whole time. And I'm really making myself get that turn through my waist. So if there was a flashlight in my belly button, it would be shining left and shining right. Okay. We're gonna do about three more on each side. One more each side. Nice. All right, guys. That concludes our 10 and 10 for this week. Um, grab a wall, grab a couple weights if you have them. Move with your breath in the beginning. This is a really great sequence to just reset yourself. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.